eight to abortions. At least three students were killed and eight other people were hurt after a shooting at a Michigan high school. The suspect is a 15 year old sophomore at Oxford High School. That's about 40 miles north of Detroit. Officers executed a search warrant at the suspect's home. They're also going over surveillance footage from the school, but from those who were injured, uh, some of those injuries are extremely severe. And joining us right now, Oakland County Sheriff Michael Bouchard. Uh, thank you so much for being with us, Sheriff. Um, th this is a very sad day for this community. I know it's a tight-knit community, a small suburb, uh, and we know this is an ongoing investigation. So do we know of any possible motive yet this morning? Well, um, we're looking into that through our evidence process, but unfortunately the uh, suspect um, is not talking to us at the direction of his parents. In Michigan, the law requires a juvenile get parental approval before he talks to the police and they refused it and uh, have hired an attorney. So we're not getting direct information on motive from the suspect, but uh, we are, uh, I think, in a process to determine it independently if possible. And when you say that in Michigan, you need the parents approval before talking to a child in a case, in any case, really, in any crime, uh, but what are the next step in this investigation? I mean, obviously, there would have to be some communication with the prime suspect in this case, correct? Well, once you invoke, uh, or in this case, the parents invoke the right to an attorney, you can't have conversations with a suspect uh, without the attorney approving it or being present. And, and obviously, that's not happening right now. So uh, we're plunging forward. We've got, I think, based on all the evidence that I reviewed all night, um, an incredibly strong and powerful case about uh, this individual perpetrating the acts. And, and really, we were hearing so much. Uh, we were hearing that other students were concerned on social media media, there might have been word that there was going to be a school shooting. What do you know about that or what can you tell us about that? Yeah, there's been a great deal of uh, misinformation on social media. We actually investigated a possible threat uh, earlier last month in that particular school district and deemed it to be not credible. In fact, we ran it down and, and it came from an individual not not only not in that school district, but not even in our state. Um, and so there was a dismiss of that particular threat. And now people are kind of merging those two together, saying that there was previous information and it was deemed non credible, but now look what happened. So we don't have any information as it relates to previous uh, threats from this individual about this incident um, that came to us, none that came to the law enforcement community that we're aware of. We are trying to run down the rumor that some people knew about something, um, but may not have shared it certainly with us. We know for a fact it wasn't shared with us. There was a, a victim, 16 year old Tate Meyer. <clears throat> His injury is so severe that uh, some of your deputies actually put him in a patrol car. Is that correct on the way to the hospital? And, and he actually ended up passing away. I can't imagine what it would be like to be a first responder or an officer or deputy on the scene of this and actually see this, this child, 16 years old, somebody's son, passing away like this. No, it, it's horrific. I've seen way too much death and, and way too many dead bodies over the course of my career. But, you know, what I saw in that school, um, you know, when it involves children, it's just it's so much harder on everybody. And it punches you in a way that, um, you know, will stay with you forever. And certainly this is a wound that will never be healed for those families or for the community. So we're doing everything we can to give them um, a good solid closure on the investigation in terms of totality and you know making sure it's done properly and then anything we can do to support them individually we're going to do that as well do we have any information on how these victims were connected to this 15 year old gunman because from the looks of things i, I know you've done other interviews and you've talked about the severity of injuries to these other students who are still fighting for their lives in the hospital. It, it appears as though this 15 year old was shooting to kill. So how close do we know these victims were to that student? Well, um, tragically, as I reviewed some of the evidence uh, a couple hours ago, incredibly close. Um, and it, it, these victims, um, you know, based on the early look at what we've got evidence wise, I think it was random. You think this was random? Yeah, I don't think he was targeting individuals. But but do, would you say that he was indeed shooting to kill? Oh, without question. Yeah, absolutely, unequivocally, he was shooting to kill people. Mercilessly as well, uh, as, uh, as evidenced. Without question.
Yeah, as evidenced by some of these injuries that we're still learning about. Uh, Sheriff and also Kuchar. by video that I've now seen. Say that again. And also by video that I've now seen. Oh, you've actually seen video of the shootings taking place and how he did it. Yes. What was most disturbing about that video? Just the cold hearted, pure, evil nature of the act. Were they shot close at close range? Yes. All right. Sheriff Bouchard, we really appreciate your time. I know you have a lot of work to do uh, today and, and for the next coming weeks. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Sure thing. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.